Hello Divination and welcome to our brand new mini series creating client documentation to empower your clients and save you time. In this mini series we'll be showing you five ways you can create client documentation with the primary purpose of educating and empowering your clients while you save time in the process. In this video I'll show you how to create this moving forward page. When the website is designed and completed, most freelancers and web agencies will hand off the website to the client and call it a day. Now this leaves the client unsure what to do with their website moving forward. So this is why we're building this page so we can guide your clients on what to do once the website has been completed. This page serves a great purpose of saving you time repeating the same advice over and over again to every client. Your clients will also appreciate this information because chances are they'll have no idea what to do with their brand new website. Before I show you how to design this page, I'm going to go through five recommendations of things that you should include on this page. Now feel free to tweak them to suit your business. So let's go on to number one, spread the word. Here you're encouraging your clients to spread the word just after you've designed their website. This is the right moment because they're excited about the project and this is where they're likely going to share your information with friends, family and other colleagues. Okay, so let's move on to number two, ask for reviews. Now reviews are very important because they give any future customers an idea of how pleased your previous customers are and also having these reviews on google plus can also help with your seo so asking for reviews is a great thing to do number three keeping things fresh and updated this is where you encourage your clients to keep their website updated so this is good to keep the website fresh and updated okay let's move on to number four build site content now, majority of clients, when the website is designed, want their website to rank above their competitors. But what they don't realize is for Google to rank your website, your website needs to have fresh information, relevant information on a regular basis. So this is where you encourage your customers to create blogs, which then you can use to rank online. Okay, let's move on to number five, protect your website. When you've designed your website, the only thing that can really mess it up are the hack attacks. And a majority of these are due to the website not being updated. Okay, so these are the five things that I recommend. And as I said before, you can go ahead, tweak these according to what works for you. All right, so let's dive in and let me show you how to create this page. Okay, so I'm right here in my dashboard. So the first thing I'm going to do is to create a new page. So I'm going to go to pages, add new, and we're going to call this page moving forward. Okay, so now let's click on use the Divi Builder, use Visual Builder. Okay, let's start off by adding a new row, single row, and we need a text module because this is where we're going to have our main title. And let's have this centered, dark is fine, and then we're gonna call this moving forward. And then I'm gonna go ahead and save. Okay, let's add another text module, or oh, in fact, we can just duplicate this. And then um, let's go into the settings, and this is where I'm going to add my sub headline. Okay, so that's looking good. Now I'm going to go into design and just make a few changes here. So the text size needs to be slightly bigger. So I'm just gonna increase it here to about 18. And then I'm gonna go ahead and save. And then let's go back to the title here. Again, I'm gonna click the gear icon, go into the design mode, and then here, let's increase the text size to about, say, 30. Let's make it bold and all caps. Okay, so that's looking good. Now, let's go ahead and save. And then finally, we're going to add a background color onto this section. So I'm just, go, I'm just gonna go into the settings, click on background color, and then I'm just gonna choose a light gray like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and save the changes. Now, let's add a new section. Now this section is going to have our video, so it needs to be a single column. So I'm gonna click once on that. And it needs to be a video module. Okay, so here is, this is where I need to paste my um, URL to the video. So I'm gonna paste it here like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and save changes. 
Okay, so now that our video is in place, the next thing we're going to do is to add a new section. So I'm going to click this plus button and click on the regular section. And this time it needs to be one third, two thirds. So I'm going to click on that. And then on this small, smaller third, I'm going to add an image module. And I'm going to add an image. So I'm going to go ahead and click upload. Upload files. So my file is in my downloads folder. So I'm just going to find it and it's right here. I'm going to click on open. And then I'm going to click on upload an image. So we don't need any animation to this. So I'm just going to click on no animation. And then once I'm happy with that, I'm going to go ahead and save. Okay, so let's go and add another text module. So I'm just going to type in text, click on the text module. And this is where I'm going to enter all my text for uh, for that for that section. So I'm just going to paste it. Okay, so that's looking good. So, so the text orientation is fine because it's left. So what I may want to do here is to just go ahead and save and then I'll make the uh, customizations later. So here I'm just going to go into this word and I'm just going to click this double A and this make this heading tag. Okay, so that's looking good. Right, so let's go back to this video area. So what, I'm, what I would like to achieve here is I would like this video to have a border, a shadow, and I also would like it to be moved slightly up into this gray area. So let's expand this gray area a little bit to about 100. And then let's go into the settings of the module, click on CSS. So now I just need to paste the CSS code onto the main element area like that. And now you can see it has the border, the drop shadow, and it's slightly moved up. So you can adjust this if you want. So right now it's, I know it's slightly in there, so I can just increase the, um, the negative margin to about maybe one, 120. Okay, that's not looking bad. All right, so I'm happy with that. I'm gonna go ahead and save changes. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna add a line which separates these tips. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on insert row, single row, and this time it needs to be a divider. Right, so here on the divider, the height can be say two and visibility, you need to make sure that it shows the divider. And then here, this is where you can just go and choose the color. So I'm just gonna drag until the line becomes visible. So I'm happy with that. So you can see it right here on the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and save the changes. So what you need to do next, cause we need, we need to have five of these tips. So to save time, all, you, all you're going to do here is to duplicate this row like that and then just drag it into position below the line like that and then duplicate the line put the line below the second item and then you can just go into the settings and make and then what you need to do next is to go into the settings and then just make sure that you change this text to your second option. And then once you've done that, um, go ahead and change the image as well. And then keep duplicating until you have your five items. Okay, so you can see now I've added most of my um, tips. So I'm gonna go on to the last one, which is protect your website. So I'm gonna go into the settings, name this number five protect your website and then I'm just going to paste my text in here. So what you may want to do is if you have a um, security plan page, this is where you can just link to that uh, plan page. So I'm going to go ahead and save here and then we're just going to change the image. So I'm going to click on the settings icon, click upload. So this time my image is already here in my media library. I'm just going to click on it and then I'm going to click upload an image click on save changes. So this is how we add all our content onto the website. Okay, so when you're, once you're happy with that, go ahead and save it by coming here to the expand settings and then clicking publish and then save. So now we're gonna exit the visual builder and this is our final page. 
So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. We will be producing daily video quick tips similar to what you've seen today. So subscribing and following us on our social media platforms ensures that you are notified every time we post a video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments box below. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.